The annual Jewish Open Space Festival has become the largest of its kind over the past five years. A unique program, Jewish songs and tunes by National Academic Orchestra of Folk Instruments of Ukraine and Rybutsky Capella. A Jewish traditional and electronic music. This year's festival theme is Jewish-Ukrainian relations. These two peoples have lived on the same land for centuries. Despite the difficult past, the focus of the festival was to find the positive aspects of cultural interactions and look at how both cultures' traditions complement one another. What sense of traditions are the people of Israel bringing? And in what way are the Jews enriching the culture of the country they live in? Klesna music, Odessa side streets, Jewish delicious treats. Marinsky Park for one day was transformed into a characterful Jewish shtet, a town. The people eager to join the Jewish Open Space Festival were flooding the venue all day long. This is the fifth festival that we have organized, and every time people are loving it. Everyone is welcome. Everyone can find something they are interested in, something they like. This year's festival theme is Jewish-Ukrainian relations. These two peoples have lived on the same land for centuries. Despite the difficult past, the focus of the festival was to find the positive aspects of cultural interactions and look at how both cultures' traditions complement one another. I believe that all people are brothers. Thanks to such festivals, we can find out about things we have in common. We can find those spider lines that connect us. And we realize what we can do to benefit each other. Oh, you have the Star of David on your head. Did you make it yourself? Yes, I did. It's my work. Right now, it's become a trend or something. For some reason, non-Jewish people order these hats from me. Jewish open space is traditionally held just before the Jewish New Year, Rosh Hashanah. But the important thing is that this festival unites both Jews and non-Jews under one sky in a warm family atmosphere. I think this is how we should cooperate and be friends. It's so awesome to look at special features of other countries, ethnicities and peoples. I love it very much. So many people, the sense of togetherness. Everybody is so nice and friendly. Every other year more and more guests from different countries come to Kiev just to attend this festival. Many of them are genuinely surprised that it's possible to hold the Jewish festival just like that openly, right in the city center. Why have you come to the Jewish festival? Because I'm Jewish. I had no clue about my Jewishness until my mom admitted late in life that the Nazis had massacred her mom in 1943. I believe this is a true democracy. This is the way it is supposed to be. My mom couldn't even imagine that something like this can happen. I feel so much joy. After all, every race has the right for life. I think something like this is unprecedented. Um, you know, I think that you don't see Jewish things happening outside. It's all in closed doors. To see a festival like this uh, outside and so many people here, clearly it's something that's needed. Openness is something that pleases me the most. I like the simplicity. It's not somewhere in Sochnut in some closed area. You could say that Ukraine is the country with the world's safest environment for Jews. Though, of course, you could still encounter anti-Semitism at the mundane level, etc. All day long, the festival guests could enjoy Jewish music in different corners of the park. But all the juicy stuff was taking place at the main stage, referred to in the vernacular as the shell. The singer, Bat Rivka performed at Jewish Open Space. She flew all the way from Israel, where her songs are broadcast at the most popular radio stations. It's a, just such a treasure and a pleasure to sing here and uh, just meet with the people of Ukraine. I think they're doing an amazing job, uh, everything they've done here. With the main concert at five, platforms, all sorts of workshops, challenges, flash mobs and quests were going on. 
all the congregation openly presented its projects, educational, charitable, developmental and many others. Our club is called 714. We travel around Ukraine and also plan to go to Europe. We explore the Jewish legacy. We've been to Odessa, Lviv, Chernovtsi. We also plan to go to Transcarpathia in the near future. It turns out there's also Jewish culture we'd like to explore. And we invite our new friends to come with us. The guests of the festival are simply elated. I can't even decide which platform I like the most. If I did, it would insult the rest of the platforms. Toward the end of the festival, all guests and participants, as one family, made the biggest Jewish ram dance in Ukraine. The Book of Records of Ukraine Commission certified this record right away. We are here to certify that a new record in Ukraine has been set, namely the biggest Jewish round dance. The prestige and popularity of the festival is growing by the year. The 2018 European Festivals Association labelled Jewish Open Space with Europe's quality stamp. The organisers of the festival invite the guests for further socialising and to celebrate together not only the new year but other festivals as well.